up guys, Josh here. I'm here with Coach T and the rest of our coaching team. And we're gonna go over this week's Tabata workout for you. So for this workout, we're gonna have four different stations. We have two exercises per station. You have 20 seconds of hard work, 10 seconds to switch between exercises. You're gonna do four sets of each exercise. We're gonna rotate around the room one time and we'll have a group finisher for you at the end. You ready, Tia? Ready. Okay, so we're gonna start over here on the row. So we're gonna start with our row class. So get those feet set up on the black floor. And here you're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together, open up nice and wide, and then bring those hands in. To make it a little more challenging, step a little further in so you have more slack on that rope. Keep those hands nice and low here, squeezing and bringing those hands together as quickly as you can. The second exercise here is our plank with our bag pull through. So get set up in that push up plank position. You want that bag underneath those hips here, nice and controlled with those hips, squeezing those glutes and then reaching across your body to grab that bag, slowly pulling it across, and then pulling back to the other side. You're not going to need to. You can work this exercise from your knees as well. You can also take the pull through out and just focus on that plank position. Nice job, to you. From there, we're coming over to station number two. We got Coach MJ over here, and she's going to start with our drop squat. So kicking those feet apart, reaching for the floor, back up and down as quickly as you can here. Deep breath in on the way down, push that air as you're exploding back up here. If you need to take the impact out, of course, you can just step side to side or just do some air squats here as well. The second exercise is our band step out. So you notice MJ already had a band around one leg. She's gonna switch over, get it around both feet here. And now for our band step outs, you're gonna stay nice and low in that squat. And now she's got her left foot planted and she's just gonna step in and out with that right leg here. So just step in side to side as quickly as you can. Just to show what that fast pace looks like, MJ. There we go. Back and forth a little bit, working that glute. You go back to the drop squat. When you come back, you're gonna go to the other side here. So you're gonna get two sets in on each leg. From there, we're coming over to station number three. We got Coach Terry over here. And she's going to start with our T-Rex squat jack. So, kick those feet apart, explode up, flip it around. But yeah, there we go. Open up your nice wide stand, sitting in that squat, explode up, push that air out. Now, if you need to take the impact out here, just step side to side. Deep breath in push that air out, or just work those straight squats, whatever you can do well. The second exercise here is our T-Rex tricep extension. So, leaning out, hands almost like Superman here. Now, what Carrie's gonna do is boost her squeeze side to side. She's only bending at those elbows, bringing those hands behind her head like she's trying to touch her ponytail, and then pressing away. So you're really gonna feel this one in your triceps. If not during the workout, then the next day for sure. Glute squeeze nice and tight if you need to. You put one foot further forward so you get a full range of motion here, making sure you're getting every rep, making sure every rep is a quality rep there. Nice job, Carrie. And then from there, we're coming over to the last station here. We got Coach T over here. She's gonna start with our pivot presses. So two dumbbells right there in her shoulders. She's gonna pivot on one foot, rotating and pressing with that opposite arm here. Deep breath in, on the way down, push that air out as you rotate and press. You can push this pace here with lighter weights. If you're going heavier, you're going to get more intentional, really use those hips to get that, that, that dumbbell movement on you. For the second exercise, we're going down to the edge of the blue floor, we're going to work our square crawl. So, hands and feet on the floor, knees just up off the floor. You're going to go two steps forward, Two steps to the side, stay nice and low, keeping those hips nice and stable. Two steps back, and then two steps over to the side here. If you need to, you can also just hold that beast position or hold a plank position for that 20 seconds. And then after that, we'll have a group finisher for you as well. Okay, that's our Tabata workout for this week. Great job, everyone.